Now, I knew my recipes were, were pretty good. They were still pretty basic at that point in time. Strictly out of curiosity. Right at the end of like tourist season, I just put a post on Facebook saying, hey, I have fresh bread if anybody's interested. And it just completely exploded from there. We live in Sable Beach, Ontario. We are sitting in a pretty rural community. <laughs> I born and bred in hospitality, cooking in the kitchen with my mom. My parents felt that it was really important that, you know, we raised our own meat, so we had two cows every year, 80 to 100 chickens, and then, like, we all hunted. And then produce-wise, like my mom canned everything. So like jams and peaches and pickles and relishes. And there was an old marina on the property. And during the summertime, we ran it as like a convenience store. So then my mom was selling like pies and sticky buns and ice cream and all sorts of stuff out of it. For us to live here in the country, we have like a, pl a plethora, beautiful plethora of product that's around us, different purveyors and producers. And we just partnered up with a new miller, which is called Stonebridge Flour. Her and her husband grow their own soft red wheat, which is for pastry flour. So we've got a mix of her grains and then all the other grains that we use. So this is another big thing for us. Like we have the gardens, like to feed us, but then everything that we grow, the point is to preserve it, can it down for the winter that we can use for breads. This week's focaccia is roasted red peppers and feta and then herbs from the garden. There you go. How's that? <laughs> you know, looking at the Simply Oven, we can go through the program on it and I can see what temperature each of the decks is sitting on. We can change the settings mid-stride if something isn't working for us and then we see results like pretty much instantly. I couldn't imagine having to go in halfway through and shuffle loaves around or even take that extra five to 10 minutes just to spray loaves before closing the door. It gave us back our time in a day because now I'm not standing slaving at a home oven, baking max eight loaves at a time in about an hour, an hour and 15. Now I can do 15 loaves at a time in like just over a half an hour. Our bakes became a lot faster, a lot more efficient. You know, I can bake everything off early in the morning. So then having this oven and chopping the time down on our bakes, we were able to get out earlier in the day and make sure that our customers had their product. You're not running around chasing somebody else's dream, you know. Yeah. We're, we're finally at the point in our lives where we're standing on our own two feet and making something of it. And then our kids see that and our kids are, you know, we go to market and Oliver's like, well, I want to have a market stand selling like lemonade and plants and like that kind of stuff. So seeing the influence and the inspiration on the kids is pretty exciting. It's not easy and it's taken time. It's not like we had 700 customers all like banging on our door wanting to try it. it has been a challenge, but it's, you just have to work at it. You can't, you know, you can't go into it in one or two months and you're still only making 10 or 20 loaves a week. That's great, you've met those people, but you've gotta keep pushing. You gotta keep pushing to get your name out there.